I have been doing this video for I think three three years or something like that and I always use my phone so I always hold my phone like this so I have something to hold and now I don't know what to do with my hands I don't know I will I will stroke I will stroke the bee maybe I need a fidget toy stroking the bee that sounds very very nasty actually never mind <laughs> Hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's new makeup releases. I have also some other things than makeup today and they are extremely cute and giftable. I think I have a lot of great finds this week. I also have some updates for you guys today. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 46 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And this is a recurring series on my channel every Friday where I go over new makeup releases, sneak peeks, announcements, uh, new brands, brands that are closing, giftable things, lifestyle, and basically anything and everything that I can chat about in this video and you guys want me to chat about as well. And if that sounds like something you would enjoy, you kind of know the drill, right? Hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you'll be notified when my videos go online. The video... Hmm. The look that I have on my eyes, I did film. It is actually the first look with the collab palette between Saint Angel Sinners and Schmink Berunde, the Follow Your Dreams palette. I did receive this palette in PR. It arrived yesterday, uh, your, my yesterday, your yesterday before yesterday, mm, two days ago. <laughs> Here's the color story and I'm filming a multiple looks video with this because I really, really get inspired by this palette so yeah if you want to see all the looks that i will create with this one make sure you are you know the drill right let's just uh get the household messages out of the way before you have any questions check out my description box because everything that i will talk about today will be listed there i will also list some instagram handles but i will tell you which ones i will list yeah my sources are there as well there are some other videos there so definitely go check out the description box there's also discount codes or li a link to where I keep my discount codes to kind of make the description box a little bit shorter. And I have some affiliate links in there as well. Most of the links that are in my description box are affiliate links. Just so that you know. That means that if you shop through those links, I earn a commission and it goes back in my channel. And if you shop through my links, thank you so very, very, very much. Yes, let me go to the side. I am trying <coughs> something new because... Uh, maybe you know I have my computer here as well so I am going to see if I can instead of holding my phone like this uh, looking at my computer because I'm old well no I'm vintage but my eyesight is not what it used to be even though I wear contact lenses I uh, I kind of like to I don't know I'm I'm experimenting so uh, if I check there from time to time is to see if I'm still recording let's just I can put the pictures up there. Let's go to the first thing, which is from Clayworks by Jen. I have mentioned this brand before and it's just so, so cute. And I don't know. Let me just show you the picture. This is the Swamp Gator. His name is Fen. Fen has an amazing amount of camouflage to blend into the swampy environment where he lives. He grows a thick layer of moss and plants along his back to keep him cool and to fall unsuspecting prey. It seems as though he is about to catch an afternoon dragonfly snack. Fen will either go up for auction or be part of their June, the June shop update. Um, it's kind of to be TBA. To be announced, I think it is. A swipe for more pictures. This was a post from three days ago. I will leave the Instagram handle down below. I will also leave down below the site where you can find it if it goes online. But it's just so extremely, extremely... Oh, it's so, so cute. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the artist has more of these types of things. So definitely go check out their Instagram account. It will be listed down below as will the shop be. Yes. Next, I'm going to go to... Oh yeah, this. When I saw this, I found this so extremely cute. Now we are kind of, we are almost in summer. It's the end of May here. I live in Europe, so we are going towards summer, you know. Uh, today, however, it's wet and thundery outside. Um, but this, even though it's it's kind of technically too warm for what I'm going to show you, I thought it was so, so cute that I really wanted to mention it. And it is from the brand Dark Forest. And I will leave the shop down below and I will leave the Instagram handle down below. And you see here four hats. These are unfortunately all sold, but it's just so cute. So she makes ears and horns and fantasy type stuff. And um, I will link 
the Instagram and the Etsy shop down below. This is just so, so extremely cute. If you like this type of whimsical stuff, if you go to fantasy, um, um, I want to say concerts, um, but I meant fairs, fantasy fairs and all that kind of thing. This may be very much for you. Or maybe you just like to wear this every time. I kind of don't know what to do with my hands because usually I, I hold my phone. So it's a little bit interesting today. Yes, bear with me though. I think this looks extremely cute and I will link down below where you can find everything. Yes, she also takes commissions, by the way. Okay, next I have this from Enchanted Create Creations. And this is a, the picture that you see here is a, a cicada. I think I pronounced that correctly. Uh, it's a, actually a hairpin with amethyst and labradorite. However, I think that you can also use this as a um, kind of a brooch type thing. I don't know how heavy this is. Um, but I thought it was very, very cool. So I, that's why I wanted to mention it. And I will, again, leave the Instagram handle down below. And I will leave the shop down below because there are more things like this. But this is so very cool. Obviously, this won't fit my hair. It, it just, no, it won't. It won't fit me at all. But yeah, again, maybe I can use it to, I don't know, use with a scarf or something. Something like that. I feel very much like a hand model. Never mind. Never mind that at all. This is so extremely weird for me. I have been doing this video for, I think, three three years or something like that. And I always use my phone. So I always hold my phone like this so I have something to hold. And now I don't know what to do with my hands. Maybe I need a fidget toy. Let's go. Let's go to this, which is from Crow Pebble. <laughs> so um, a few weeks ago, I mentioned Crow Pebble. They are, she is a UK-based indie brand and she focuses on uh, loose pigments. Uh, she has eyeshadows face products and all that. She also has eye bases, but she also does perfume oils. I mentioned a new launch that she was doing, but I have dates. So the perfumes will launch May the 27th, which is in about a week. Uh, I will link the site down below. Now the link is, it's not really an affiliate link, but if you use that link, you get a discount of, I believe, 20% and I earn store credit. That's kind of how it works. Everyone can make a link like that though. If you have ordered from her, if you made, um, what's it called, um, an account, you have a referral link like that. Mine is just in my description box. So, yes. Uh, but yeah, perfumes. I really, really like her perfume. So I will show a few. She has mini sizes and she has full size. So let me grab a mini size. Do I also have a full size? Yes. Can we just change? So the mini sizes look like this. And when you twist off the cap, it has a stopper. So that's very, very... They smell very, very nice. They all have a very specific scent. Now, I am terrible at scent notes. Uh, so I will link the site down below. Go check out her Instagram as well. And I will link that below as well. Because on her Instagram, she gives you the scent notes. It was a few weeks ago. But yeah, I will link her Instagram handle down below. And this is actually a full size. And this is with a rollerball. Like that. This is the scent Prismatic Crow. And it's very taste, very nice. So let me let me smell like a prismatic crow. Never mind that. Uh, but yeah, it's she's just an amazing human. She's such a sweetheart. She also have has very cool artwork on her website. So definitely go check out Crow Pebble. Yes. Okay. Am I still recording? Yes. Next. Yes, I have quite some. Well, is it sad? Not specifically for me, honestly, because it's not a brand that I have ever shopped from. It's not a brand that I have any investment in, but I know that a lot of you do. So let me chat about this. Bite Beauty is closing. So let me read what the Instagram post says. It says here to our incredible community, we are sad to share that Bite Beauty will be closing later this year. Um, do I have anything from Bite Beauty? No. Um, the Buy Beauty products are now 50% off and I will link their site down below. Um, so what, so basically the normal brand is stopping and you can get stuff at Sephora and at buybeauty.com, but their lip lab is still staying. It says here with nine locations and more on the way, lip lab, their custom lips, lips, lip tip. Lipstick experience isn't going anywhere. Stay tuned for more exciting news to come. So, Buy Beauty is not really closing down. They are just 
going to continue with their lip lipstick lab, their lip lab, lip lab. I don't know why, but that sounds kind of weird for me. Why are they mowing the grass now? When I'm filming, don't they know that I'm filming? It's so rude. But anyway, never mind. Let me just go back and stroke. I actually received this as a gift from my uh, bestie Debbie, debutant. This, what was this? Was this a jazz piece? I don't remember. I have it somewhere. I don't remember, but it's always upstairs. And now I'm going to stroke the beat. Never mind. It's anyway. Let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Change maker foundation. I don't know what that is, but yeah, bite beauty. It was never really something that i gravitated towards but let me know your thoughts down below let's next go to saint angels or saints angel sinners i uh, have some announcement but, but i also kind of need to do a rectification because last week i mentioned that she was going to do a palette and the proceeds were going to go to the autoimmune association foundation and i actually said there that she didn't have an autoimmune disease that's how i read the post when i read what she was basically saying on her instagram i read that she did not have one but could relate but i read wrong um i don't know what happened there uh but she definitely does uh also it's a quad so i have here a picture it's up for pre-order now the proceeds will go to the autoimmune association and yeah it, it's it's 25 bucks just Honestly, Saint Angel Sinners, the owner, Darcy, she's such an amazing human. I love her so much. We have connected. We are also talking outside of this. And she has a very, very big heart. And she truly, truly wants to help people and wants people to be happy. So not only is she a, a gorgeous human, she also has an amazing quality in her eyeshadow. So definitely, definitely worth checking out. I will leave her website down below. I will also leave her Instagram handle down below. And go check out so basically i will leave where you can find the palette and i will leave her instagram handle down below go check her out because she's amazing this is the quad um it's not specifically a color story geared towards me because i'm not really into blues that much just saying but i do think that it is an amazing cause i don't have an autoimmune disease myself i do have some health issues some mental things that i'm finding out right now maybe i will do a video about it i haven't decided yet um but yeah i i do think that this is an amazing cause so that's why i wanted to mention it again and i want to apologize to darcy that i just read the post wrong and i read that you didn't have an autoimmune disease and you do so my apologies for that Thank you also for letting me know in the comments because one of you actually said that she did have one and I said she didn't. So I'm so sorry about that. I will go and find the post and I will apologize because I, yeah, I need to be corrected. I just need to read correctly. Um, what else is she going to do? She's going to start basically an SAS Club Palette of the Month. So it says here every month and that's also the reason that I wanted to make the letters bigger so I won't misread you know every month on the 17th for only 25 bucks and shipping so it's the the palette the the club basically is 25 bucks but you do have to pay shipping right um they uh, she is offering a palette of the month club where you get a choice from two palettes that will be shipped the first week of june it's highly discounted and will be till supplies last there's no sign up or codes this month your choice is between the ace palette or the cupid's arrow uh, she's also each month offering the grand trine Uh, which are two palettes of the month and one more for 65 if i read this correctly for 25 bucks you get you get a choice between two palettes so you pick a palette that's heavily discounted that is very very true and then there's also a trio that you can order which contains the two palettes of the month and an extra so uh, let me show you a picture of the angel two palette which is an all duo chromie her shadows are so good her shimmer shadows her mattes are amazing but her shimmer shadows she can do multi chromes and duo chromes extremely well just saying but this color story looks pretty and this the cupid's arrow i do have actually so i can show you the shift the shifts that it has i don't know why i want to say cupid sorrow because it's cupid's arrow so i have that one here and let me show you um see let's see if we can kind of 
capture some of the shifts. There we go. So you can see in the mirror and then the difference between the palette, the shifts that they have. And the quality, it's just so, so good. So it's definitely worth it. And then I, the last one is the um, Ace. So the Ace palette, yeah, that color story looks very, very pretty as well. I think it's a very, very fun color story. So I will link again. I have already linked her site down below. But I think this is a very, very fun idea where you can just, you know, Pick, pick the palette. So definitely keep your eye on their Instagram account because she will announce it there. Um, yes, that is what I mentioned. Okay, that was Saint Angel Sinners. And let's go to the next brand, which is going to be Unearthly Cosmetics. Because she has re-released... Uh, re her brushes or they are going to be re-released so on the 27th of may she's going to re-release her brush set and this is the black and green brush set the colors do look a little bit different uh, but it says on earthly cosmetics now the old brush set set alien cosmetics so there is a brush set coming yes and i know some of you are very very excited about that and also last week i mentioned a sneak peek of a volume two and i did not exactly know what it was but it's the all i ever wanted palette volume number two and i have a picture of the inside so here's a picture of the inside and it is all du duochromes and uh i think multi-chromy goodness it will launch the 27th of may uh, 12 p.m est and it will retail for 86 us dollars you can use my affiliate code nikki raven to save some money if you want to and i will leave the site down below this is a very very pretty palette um she also does these types of shadows extremely well there is a pr package coming uh, but i opted for shipping everything together instead of shipping everything when it uh, arrive so i don't exactly know when mine will arrive and honestly i kind of forgot what was included i don't know if this one will be included though uh, but it looks extremely extremely stunning and i love the names as well stoker tarot testimonia yeah i love this i think this is very very cool so let me know if you are excited and if you're planning to pick it up. Yes. Next, I am going to go to the friendly neighborhood spider Colourpop. Yes, because Colourpop has uh, released the one and done collection and it's kind of cowgirl inspired. I think it looks cute. I think it looks very cute. It's not for me though. It's not... Uh, seeing the swatches from Amanda, yeah, that girl can sell me anything. Uh, I will leave her channel down below because she has already a video up swatching everything and using everything. But she also compares swatches a lot of things. So definitely go check her out. She's my go-to for everything Colourpop and I've said that before. She has a code. There are more codes out there. I usually used to use... Uh, I think it was five Samantha or something like that, you know, to get five bucks off. Um, I don't know if those codes are still valid though, but you can always try. And otherwise you can also use her code Amanda, which is affiliated and it will save you 10%. Um, the color story, I think the color story is cute. It's not something for me. It's too pink leaning. It's not something that I go for. When I look at the inside, it does look cute. I don't know. It kind of gives me a little bit of barbie vibes we actually had a barbie horse we had a white the white horse we had that one yes with the pink uh is it called a bridle is it i don't know and saddle and stuff you know this kind of reminds me a little bit of that so and i don't know why maybe it's basically the the pink doll cowboy hat i don't know i i get i get barbie vibes what can I say? So what is in the collection? There's a 12 pen palette. There are three powder blushes. I do actually like the, the brownie one though. The, the blush that I have on today is the shade is a shade from Kaleidos. Um, in the shade Joyride. And this is also kind of that brownie. So if I were to make a Colourpop order. Which I can definitely see happening again in the future. Uh, I have said this actually before. The video I don't think is online yet. But if Colourpop ever does... Um, an Alice in Wonderland collection I'm very much screwed uh, Just so you know uh, But if I were to make another Colourpop co uh, order And the blushes are in stock I will probably want to use the, the, the brownie one Because 
I really like a color like that. So that's actually the only thing that I'm interested in. And there are also three French Kiss lip lacquers. And there's a Glitterly Obsessed Trio. And there is a Soul Body Mini Duo. Let me know if you like this collection. Uh, I can see a lot of people really, really liking this. Um, it's not for me. Let's go next to Odin's Eye. Because they have... Let me save this post then. Uh, because they are going to release the Soul Main 2 collection. And last week I talked about it, but I did not have an unblurred picture. I knew what it entailed, but I did not have an unblurred picture. The, the collection is coming my way. I just don't know when it's going to arrive. And unfortunately, the same thing happened with Angelica's palette last time. Uh, that I don't know why, but for some reason or another, it takes extremely long to ship to me. But it is coming my way. So what is in the collection? There's a new eyeshadow palette with 3, 6, 9, 12 with 15 shades. And it looks extremely, extremely stunning. There are um, There's a bundle of 15 colored eye pencils, which I'm very, very excited for. Then there are blushes, highlighters, and there's a makeup. Makeup, uh, makeup uh, mirror. Uh, the palette retails for say 33 US dollars. I'm kind of rounding it up, but usually the price are in euro. The 15 shades gel liner are uh, say 60, but you can get um, they you can also get them individually for six bucks each. Uh, then the blusher is in six shades, retailing for 21. The highlights are six shades, retailing for 23. And then there's a makeup a mirror in two colors, retailing for 10. You can also buy bundles. So the bundle with the single color mirror, um, the whole collection, but one mirror is 310, saving you over 55 bucks and then if you want a bundle i think the complete bundle is 319 which will save you say around 56 so the bundle is worth 375 and looking at this picture it looks so extremely stunning it's four more days till launch so it launches the 20th of may 6 p.m Swedish time, which is Central European Summer Time, which translates as 9 a.m. PST or 12 noon EST. I cannot wait to get this. I know that there are already videos online because I saw that my friends had already gotten this palette in PR and had their, their videos up. And mine is on its way. I hope it will arrive soon. Um... But I just cannot wait. When I get this collection in. And I know I'm getting it. That's what I meant. I know that I'm getting it in. Uh, I will do a video with it. I will probably want to do three looks with it as well. Just because I really want to play with the collection. But it just looks so extremely stunning. And everything looks very very stunning. So let me know if you are excited. There are affiliate codes out there. I don't have one. Uh, but I think that Annette has one. Uh, Angelica has one. Um, and those are at least the two that I know of. So go check out their sites to see uh, what their codes are. Usually with Angelica, it's Angeshka, if I'm not mistaken. Annette will probably be Annette, but I'm actually not sure. So go check out both ladies. I will link their channels down below in the description box. Because if anyone has a code, it's them. I don't have one, but I am on the PR list. So yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to receive this. I hope it will get soon because... I, I, I hope I will get it soon because it's just so extremely, extremely stunning. Yes. So let's go to iHeart Revolution next because they have released a new collection. And I kind of saw something sneaking last week. Um, but I have everything here. I see a moving picture, but I will make sure that you see a picture. Yes. What is in the collection? It's a mini because it's the watermelon collection. There's a mini tasty watermelon palette. A tasty watermelon dewy blusher in four shades. Um, the shades are pop, juicy, glazed and flushed. And there's a tasty watermelon blending sponge. They already had stuff. So this is basically an add-on to their watermelon collection because they already had a bigger palette um and they have some what else do they have i think a mascara a primer or something like that and i will link down below where you can find it oh there also is a brush set oh the brush set looks cute i'm very particular with my brushes though so i i won't get anything what i was actually looking at were the cream blushes they look a little bit like the super dewy ones that i have so i kind of want to try these they are available online already it's available on boozy shop that's where i saw them i think it's also on beauty bay and it's on revolutions's own site so i'm interested in the blushes and i actually think that the makeup sponge is very very cute i won't use a sponge like that but 
I think it's very cute. So it could very well be that I would try the sponge and the blushes. Uh, it's not that I don't want to try the eyeshadow palette. It's just that I don't really know when I would have the time to film with that. But... Um, Unless there's an overwhelming response from you guys, and it needs to be more than four people. For me to review stuff from this collection, let me know. I like Makeup Revolution. I've said this before. I like Makeup Revolution. I like iHeart Revolution as well. I used to have a lot of their... I actually used to have all their tasty palettes up until the peach. I also had the peach. Uh, I have decluttered, I think, all of them. Yeah, I have decluttered all of them because I was just not using them anymore. And I kind of had color stories that I would grab more often and I wanted to shrink down my collection. Uh, so that's why I decluttered them. But I really do like their quality. It's not amazing. It's not an amazing quality, but I do like the quality. And yeah, they got better and better with every palette actually. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Are you excited? Have you gotten anything? Is there anything from this collection that I absolutely have to try? Let me know down below. Okay. Let's next go to uh, Crash Cosmetics. I mentioned them a few weeks ago. Oh lord! Now I don't. Now I need to use Google Translate. Let's see. Uh, I mentioned Crash Cosmetics. I think two weeks ago. They are an um, indie brand based in Spain, if I remember correctly. And I mentioned eyeshadow palettes. This. Um, is a collaboration between Crash Cosmetics and My Crazy Makeup, and they are face palettes um let's see it's also super comfortable to take on a trip because it has everything so basically yeah you can use it for face and eyes that's the gist of it and i do agree i like that this looks like an old mixtape if you know you know if you if you have ever if you know this move let me know down in the comment section if this broke you could fix it with uh, sticky tape with you know scotch sticky tape You could fix it. Um, so yeah. And then the stress. The stress of wanting to record your favorite song from the radio. Hoping that the DJ would shut up in time. That you wouldn't miss too much of the song. And then hoping. Especially if you were at the end of the tape. That you would be quick enough to flip it over. Do you remember that stress? Let me know. Let me know down below. But especially let me know if you know what this means. If you know what it means, you win absolutely nothing besides the fact that, uh, well, basically, we're all vintage here. And it's all good. Vintage is hot, right? It's in season, so. But but this looks very cute. This, I'm not a face palette person. Um, however, this looks like something that I would want to use. Fun fact is, the one that I'm gravitating towards the most is actually the darkest one. Um, yeah. I, I, re I don't know. I really like those colors. And I think that's side... I don't know if that's side A or B. I'll link it down below. Let me know if you've tried this. I think this looks very, very fun. Yeah, honestly, I think this looks very, very fun. And I would love to try the darker one. So let me know if you are interested in me reviewing this brand. I'm not really looking for new brands to add to my collection. But this is a European brand. And I'm very interested in what they have. So, and also, one of you actually, or a few of you, let me know that it's not allowed to put glitters in palettes in Spain for use on your eyes. If I'm correct in... Um, If I understood that correctly. So yeah, there were palettes there that I had my eye on. Let me know if you are interested in try in me trying this brand. And letting you know how it is. Because I am definitely interested. Let's go next to V Cosmetics. And V Cosmetics uh, is a brand also in Europe. They are based in the UK. It's one of my favorite brands. I have a lot of, the, of her stuff. I also have a discount code which is not affiliated but it will save you 10% and it will be listed down below. Uh, she actually came out with uh, brow pomades and pencils. So she has new bewitching brow pomades and pencils. You see here an arm with swatches. Uh, let's say, let's see, you asked for it so we made it. Brand new brow pomades in an array of rainbow bright shades and a selection of natural tones to suit everyone. These can be used not just on the brows but also as an eyeliner. I have never tried to use a colored eyeliner as a brow pomade. I'm not really a brow pomade type of person so I don't know if it's easy or not. But yeah, this is This is very, very cool. I could see myself, I don't know, doing pink 
um, pink brows when my hair is pink, for instance. You know, I could see myself... Basically, shade number seven, I think, would kind of work. Um, I could see myself trying this. So I think that's very, very cool. These are long-lasting, smudge-proof, waterproof, and super pigmented. Four natural colors are Auburn, Caramel, Aub Auburn, Auburn. Mm. Caramel, Blonde, and Taupe. And the Taupe on the skin tone looks pretty gray. So... Um, there are also eye or brow pencils in the shades black, dark brown, mid brown, red brown, and dark blonde. Red brown is really red, uh, has red. Mid brown is also a little bit warmer, I can see, but dark brown looks to be a neutral dark brown. So, I'm kind of interested in this, honestly. The brand is vegan and cruelty free. And I will link down below where you can find these. Let's next go to um, Pink Honey. Because I don't know if I mentioned this already. But Pink Honey was coming out with something new. And I did not, know, did not know what it was. I know now it's lashes. And it's half lashes. And they look extremely cute. Pink Honey is, so it's a UK based brand. They have their own site which will be linked down below. They are also sold at Beauty Bay. But I don't know if these are at Beauty Bay. Make sure that you check the description of the falsies though. Because I see here there are 12 styles. Six styles are vegan and six are mink. And I would wish, I wish that brands would stop selling mink lashes. If you want to stop brands from making mink lashes, then just stop buying mink lashes. If you don't buy it, if, if they're not bought, they won't be sold either. Does that make any sense at all? So yeah, it's just... I I I th I kind of thought we were over the mink lashes, but that's probably me. Um, do I want to try out the lashes? Yes. If they come to Beauty Bay, I will kind of see which ones are which ones are synthetic lashes, and I will uh, try those. Probably yes. I will link down below where you can find the brand. Next, I'm going to go to a brand that I don't know. I think I mentioned these in the past. I think so, uh, but it has been a while. And it is the brand Cosmic Brushes. And they are based in the UK, but they are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. And it is called the Serenity. It has 20 mattes, no, 20, 20 shades, 14 mattes and 6 shimmers. And it looks extremely pretty. It says here coming soon. I'm going to see if I can find out when it's going to be released. This is so, so pretty. Okay, um, one day to go. It's Oh, it's released today as I'm filming this, which is your yesterday. Uh, oh, really? That's the pricing? Okay, so I, I know that I, I really want to try this palette. The color story of this, it's so, so stunning. Um, the palette has launched already. It retails for 20 pounds, 25 bucks or 24 euro. It says here, you are shipping for one palette is 12 bucks. So I'm... Yeah, I, I kind of hope that shipping for me is not very expensive either. I know that the UK and the US kind of have shipping arrangement or something like that. But yeah, I, I really want to try this palette. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if you are excited. Let me know down below your thoughts. Okay, let's next go to uh, Linda. Linda, I cannot even say it uh, the way it should be said. Let me try. Linda Halberi. Yes, it's no, but I don't know. I find it very weird to say Linda Hol Holberg in basically American uh, when she is from Sweden. Um, how would I say it if she was Dutch? Linda Holberg. That's how I would say it if she was Dutch, but she's not. So we will we will just call it LH Cosmetics. Let's just go there. Um, they are releasing an eyeshadow palette, which is called the Daybreak Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for, say, 45 US bucks. It's a two-in-one palette with shadows and cake liners. Really? Okay. Uh, soft, creamy, and well-pigmented with multiple finishes for a natural, bright, or bold makeup look. All you need to do is create cool looks. How would you make this into a... Into a cake liner then. Can you just then basically go into the shade with a wet brush? Because that's usually not the way to you. Usually eyeshadows don't like that. So I'm kind of curious to see if I can find out how that they... Because what you, you can always make a cake liner out of an eyeshadow. Because what you can 
yeah what you can do is you can scrape out a little bit of eyeshadow and either mix it with a little bit of water to create a cake liner if you want to have it uh, waterproof use a little bit of mixing medium like Duraline for instance or like for instance uh, one of the jelly primers that I have been loving so much you can do that with matte shades and with shimmer shades so maybe that's what they are meaning I don't know they're also going to release a shaping light which is a multi-use illuminating cream which is basically a high a liquid highlighter that's kind of that's kind of what it that's kind of what it is yes let's not let's not make it too complicated but I don't really know how you're going to make it into a cake liner then I think by just the way that I just mentioned by scraping some out I do like the color story though I think that the color story is very very pretty um And I think a lot of people will really, really love this color story. But I, I don't really understand the cake liner part. Because as I said, you just scrape a little bit out and make a liner with an eyeshadow. So, uh, yeah. And the, the, the highlighter, you can also mix it in with your uh, foundation, which you can do with most cream or liquid highlighters if it's you know if if it's thin enough so i love that uh, she makes multi-use products but almost all products are multi-use hell i have a liquid lipstick as a liner today that's not to say that it is eye safe i'm i'm sure that i remember that this one is eye safe it's actually from v cosmetics it's the shade Janus. um but um Yeah, don't do as I do, do as I say. So if you do something like that, do it, do that as your own risk. I also use lip pencils as eye pencils. I don't then use them on my lips though. That I don't do. But um, yeah, that's basically that's basically it. I, I love to use things for multiple things. Never mind. Let me know your thoughts. I do like the way that this is looking. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Have you tried it? Is it live already? I actually, I don't know. Can I see when it will launch? Oh, it's live now. So I will link down below where you can find it. Okay, next is Sigma. Um, they have launched blushes and highlighters. And they are online already. You can find them on sigma.com. Um, they are also online on Boozy Shop because I've seen them and they probably are also on Beauty Bay if you're here in Europe. Uh, there are some shades here that I'm like they look very very pretty. Now I am a light warm olive so I don't know if these would warp on me but I actually would love to try the medium one. Looking at the picture that I have here the medium one would work for me as well and I really love a subtle bronzer. I especially in winter I don't know I find it weird for me personally to be overly bronzed also I have to really make sure that I clean this part of my head because if it's in my hair especially when it has been freshly bleached it kind of stains my hair a little bit so I don't want to have a very big line of demarcation there you know I don't want that uh, but I would like to try it and also the blushes Yeah, I would like to try that as well. I would. There are colors in here that I'm like, they're so, so pretty. I would love to try a few blushes, especially shimmer blush. And they also have highlighters. I never tried Sigma outside of their eyeshadow base and their uh, brushes. So I really, really still want to try Sigma more. Let me know if you have. Let me know if you've tried these. Let me know... If there's anything that you can really, really recommend, let me know down below. Let's next go to Glam Shop pretty quickly because they have collabed with Mrs. Don Se... Seita. I hope. Don Seita. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, but they have collaborated and they have made the Bridal Collection. That is uh, online already. And the collection is a face palette or yeah, a face palette, an eyeshadow palette. There are three... Uh, eye pencils, there are a few lip glosses, there's a liquid matte lipstick, a lip gloss, a lip liners, eyeliner, puff and sponge set, and there are uh, colored eyeshadow bases. The collection is online now. The palette looks, the color stories look pretty. It's not necessarily something that I'm gravitating towards right now because I'm not really into the rosy tones at the moment, uh, but there are still things that I really want to try from Glam Shop. So I still have a kind of a I still have an order that I have not ordered um but but yeah let me know if you are excited I will leave down below where you can find it I don't know if Miss 
Don Sejita has... I, I don't know her front, her, her front name. Wow, really. Uh, I don't know if she has a YouTube channel. But I will leave her Instagram handle down below. And yeah, let me know if you are excited. Let me know down below. Let's next go to Catrice really quickly. Because they have a new... Um, fixing spray which is called the ultra last two it's transfer proof waterproof no alcohol and no perfume uh they say it provides an extreme long hold up to 10 hours the makeup stays in place i have their i have tried their freezing spray which is a white uh bottle i'm kind of interested to try this one so if i see it in store i will pick it up it's catrice cosmetics so it's european um Hmm. Um, so if I see it in store I will probably try it Because I'm very interested in this Yes Oh lord I have so much Let's go quickly To Hopefully quickly To um, Kiko Milano Because they have released Their festival glow collection Here you see a picture with everything It looks very 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 pretty They do collections extremely well We do have a Kiko Milano store close by Um I do like Kiko Milano, but I like their collections. I, I'm not really... I don't know. Their regular line is a little bit meh for me, a little bit boring. But I think that they do collections very, very well. Uh, let me know if you are excited about this. Let me know down below. Okay, let's next go to Milk Makeup. Because they are going to release the Pro Eclipse Mattifying Primer. It says Makeup Blocking, Shine Blocking, Mattifying Primer, Blurs, Pores, Controls, Shine, Filtered Finish... Clean ingredients, silicon free, creates smooth, even base for makeup. Um, okay, it's kind. It sounds kind of interesting. Mattifying primer, yeah, it sounds interesting. I do like their uh, milk makeup, their hydro grip. Uh, okay, I could be mistaken, but it looks like they have retouched the pictures. And. The reason that I'm saying that is because I'm looking not at the pores. I'm looking at the difference. I'm looking at lips. I'm looking at eyes. I'm looking at eyebrows. And I'm sorry, but maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I am, but it looks like the last picture of the pictures that you see, the ones that are basically more on the right, it looks like they have been retouched. And uh, I don't like that at all. And I'm basing this on the nose. I'm basing this on the lip line. And I'm basing this on the, how the eyebrows look. On both models. They have added shine in the last picture. Listen, I... I retouch my pictures as well. Very, very minimally, but I do. So I can kind of recognize it a little bit. And I'm sorry, but this looks like they have been retouched. And I don't like that at all. At all. Uh, the primer sounds interesting, but... My advice, if you're interested in this, wait for reviews. Because... Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't trust these pictures. So... Yeah, no, this 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 does not give me a good hope for um, how the product will function if they have to retouch the pictures. But that is me. Uh, let me know your opinion down below. Um, maybe you have a different opinion and you say they're not retouched. It's just, I don't know, something else. And maybe I am I I need to put in new, I, new lenses. Could be, but I feel that they are retouched and I don't like that. So let's next go to... Let's next go to a new brand, which is called Half Magic Beauty. It's by Euphoria's head makeup artist, Donny Davy. It has launched already. And I have the picture here of the complete collection, and it looks very, very pretty. Before you ask, no, I have not watched Euphoria. Um, I haven't. I, I don't think it's a show that I would enjoy just because I don't watch shows like that in general. And it has nothing to do with what Euphoria is about. I just prefer to watch fantasy based shows. It's just what I like to watch. I watch YouTube. I watch fantasy things. I also read fantasy books. So yeah. But I know that a lot of people have watched it. I know that a lot of people really really love the show. So yeah. So congratulations Donnie for making such an amazing looking collection. Because the makeup looks extremely stunning. Um, they just want to have fun. You know it's sparkly. It's glittery. It's, it, looks, it looks cool. Is it for me? Not necessarily. It's not something that I, I... No. It's not something that I go for. But there are things in here that uh, look very very pretty. 
Let me know if you are excited. Uh, have you gotten anything from the collection? Let me know down below and I will link where you can find it. And then I'm going to go to Barry M. Uh, because Barry M is releasing their mini cream eyeshadow palettes. There are three color combinations, five shades a piece. They're available now. Barry M is a UK based brand. Uh, I can get it through Look Fantastic UK. They ship to me. Barry M's own site doesn't ship to me. But Look Fantastic UK does. This looks cool. It, it Basically it brings me back to way back when, when this was a thing. I don't know if these dry down. So I don't know if it's a cream to powder. I hope so. Because, because if it stays creamy for me, at the end of the day, the only place that I have this left is, is basically here and there. The rest has kind of rubbed away. So I hope this is cream to powder. Um, looking at the neutral ones, you can also use it on your face. Because I'm guessing that these are looking at the colors. I would use them multifunctionally as well. But I don't know how big the pants are. So they look very, very interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you tried these? And yeah, I, again, I hope that they dry down. I will link down below where you can find them. Next, I'm going to go to Urban Decay. Because they have released or revealed... Uh, they will be online today, uh, May 20th. A new addition to the Naked family. Three mini palettes inspired by fan favorite naked shades. Uh, Sin, it, uh, you have Sin, Foxy and Half Baked. And it will be available today. Yeah, I kind of agree. So Makeup Missa actually... <laughs> She's kind of pissed off with Urban Decay, I think. Uh, she made a comment uh, saying that this is basically a, a, a travesty because the outside does not reflect what is inside at all. And I do agree. The outside looks so extremely cool that the inside looks very, very bland. Yes, I do have to say that the Foxy, though, with the olive shades still really appeals to me. Um... If you are an olive and you are looking for an everyday neutral palette, this could very much be it. But the outside does not reflect the inside. I agree. Unless the picture that I see here is very much retouched. It could be that as well. Um, but what can I say? I, st I still like the green one. Th this, is, this is a matter of I would want to see... A true picture of the outside and the inside. Because if they are, you know, grabbing your attention with the outside. And people are like, oh, I'm going to buy that. And the inside is very much different. Or maybe they have spruced up a picture of the outside to make it look more interesting. I wish brands would stop doing that. Um, because it's annoying as hell. But they got me as well. And honestly, I, I like the color of the olive one. What can I say? Um, but I would want to see better pictures. For sure. I will leave down below uh, Urban Decay site. And I don't know if these will launch globally. Let me know your thoughts though. It's kind of sus. You know? So. Let's next go to... Um, yeah, let's go to Nabla. Last week I mentioned that they were doing something. And I did not really know what. It is a liquid... Hi, no, it's a, a glowy face primer. It's called the Angel Aura Face Primer. It prepares skin for makeup, smooth, smoothens and compacts skin. And it has a radiant finish. Now, that is kind of, kind of counterintuitive because um, if you have a blurring primer, what does a blurring primer do? It kind of blocks the light from bouncing around. Um, if you put a highlighter on top of texture... It usually enhances the texture because what it does, it makes the light reflect differently. You know, light reflects differently on an even surface or if you have crackly bits. That sounds nasty, but you know what I mean, right? So if you have texture here, if you have lines here, it pours. The surface is uneven, so the light bounces differently. So anything glowy you put on top of texture will make the texture look more textured. Usually. Um, so for, I don't know. For me this. this So it smoothens and it radiates. It's, it kind of feels a little bit counterintuitive. But that is me. I actually have not seen anyone use this yet. Um, but you know. Buy this for what it is. Buy this because it's a radiant primer. And if you want a, a blurring primer, 
I don't think that this is it, but I could be very mistaken. But my kind of gut says that this is not a blurring primer. But yeah, it's available now. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you get it? Let me know. Let's next go to Viseart. I have two things left. So let's go to Viseart. Uh, they have released new quads, new Petit Four palettes in uh, lavender, pistache, uh, pastille, which is blue ish or something and then peach um i don't know why the i don't know why the blue and the green palette both have kind of an orangey peachy shade in them while the purple palette is the lavender palette is lavender it's purple and then the green palette has a peach in it not that i hate that peach color but it's not really pistache i am um, yeah and then the pastille which is the 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 bluey palette It has one blue. It's basically a neutral palette with a pop of blue. And I kind of thought that we were over that. But okay. Uh, the peachy palette here yeah, looks pretty. I still want to try Viseart. But. I do like the way that the green one looks though. I do. But I wish that they had put in just a darker green. The blue palette. It's not a blue palette. It's just a neutral palette with a pop of blue. The peach palette looks pretty. But honestly. I think that I would. If I were to try one of these. It would be the. The lavender or the green, but uh, the, oh, they are available. There are they are exclusive to Beautylish. The price is 25 bucks each. However, Beautylish is in the US, so it could very well be that we will get this in Europe as well because it can be uh, exclusive to Beautylish, but still, you know, be sold here in Europe as well because Beautylish is based in the US. If that makes any sense at all, I will see where I can find this and. I will uh, link it down below. Yes, the last thing that I have is from Beauty Bay. Because they have released a new collection from their own brand by Beauty Bay. And it is the Techni Days. It is a pigment palette, which has eight shades for $11.50. Uh, then an Aqua Water palette. Which is... Aqua Water. It's, it's a play on words probably that i'm probably not getting but basically it's an eyeshadow palette and it's it's a water activated palette yes there are three jelly lip oils and there's a brush set this looks cute i've actually seen this i actually thought about buying the 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 liner palette uh, and the reason for that is is while i don't use cake liners a lot or hardly ever i had a lot of fun with the cake liner that was in the huda beauty palette so To have something like this separate where I can just, you know, put it with my liners. I'm kind of liking that. So, you know, and I can still make this waterproof if I want to by basically scraping a little bit out and using a mixing medium. I don't have to use water to use this. So, I don't know. I kind of think it... It's fun. And I will link down below where you can find it. And then that is everything that I wanted to mention in the video today. I'm still here at the site to give a special shout out to my members. Which I do every week in this video. And you will see them scrolling on the screen right now. If you want to become a member. There is a link to join in the description box. Yes. Let me go to the center again. And um, yeah. Let me know what you think of my finds. Do you agree with my opinions? Or do you not agree with my opinions? Let me know down below in the comment section. And then that is going to be it for today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Listen, if you've made it this far, you just better accept it. That you just, you just love me dearly. And um, I don't know, bask in the sunshine, that is me. If you're still here after that, you're definitely one of mine. So just, you know, hit the subscribe button and the bell button. So you will be notified when I will upload my new video, which should be tomorrow. I mentioned it in another video as well. I'm kind of trying out my schedule a little bit. This, the videos that are set are my Wednesday morning, for me Wednesday morning live, for you Tuesday evening live. And this video of Friday. So Wednesday and Friday, there's always a video and the live will always be announced the day before for me in time for you guys to join in as well um but for the rest i'm kind of trying everything out so the plan is to have a video tomorrow and sunday and then may may or may not have one on monday as well and then the wednesday again and then the friday and then the saturday and the sunday that's kind of the way that i want to set up my schedule right now uh, but i'm still trying to do that so please bear with me 
And yeah, I'm just going to close off the video because I'm rambling. I need coffee. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow in another video. Bye, guys. Thank you.